Isabel. I'm a recreation service leader here at Steven Sorensen Park and I'm going to show you step by step how to get this painting right here. So if you can see what you're needing is a canvas or if you have very thick paper that'll work as well. Just make sure it's not too thin or else the paint will start bleeding through and I'll give you a whole bunch of soggy paper. A cup of water. You will need a paintbrush, a pencil, and a sharpie. And then the colors you'll be needing are I don't want to drop it, ah, <laughs> but white, orange, and yellow. Those are the only three colors that you'll need for this painting. Um, the writing on here is going to be the Sharpies. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want you to do is get your brush and you're going to wet it just so it can break up whatever you have going, especially if it's a brand new, and then just wipe off whatever excess you have on the paper towel. Okay, so it's just a nice moist brush. We're gonna go in first with orange. So I'm gonna get about that much on it right now. And we're just painting the very bottom of it. So we are gonna have four different sections. So if you want, you can always just mark where your sections are going to be. So like, and then one right there. You can do that in pencil. I'm just quickly showing you with the orange so you can see it on the camera because the pencil's a little bit harder to see. Um, and then just keep on painting. You don't have to follow exactly where your lines are. They're just guidelines. Just so you can have an idea as far as where you want to kind of start and end your next color. So we're just roughly painting the bottom. Going all the way to the ends of the canvas. Now if you guys have a different idea as far as how you want to do this particular painting, that's perfectly fine run wild with whatever you have going. Um, I'm just trying to give you a simple steps as far as how to complete this painting. But if mid painting, you could just feel inspired, go ahead and run wild with it. All right, so next, don't clean your brush. We want the orange on our paintbrush. We're gonna dip into directly yellow and we're just gonna place that down. So we're gonna have these two colors combining. And what you wanna do to get these two colors to blend is get a little bit more yellow and we're gonna brush that over the orange. So we're just gonna brush it over and just keep brushing it over and blending these two colors, going down and then back up. So we just wanna get a nice mixture of yellow and orange. Again, you don't have to clean your brush yet. If you need more, just dip into yellow because you still have orange paint on that brush. And we're just giving a nice gradient color on this canvas. And just brushing it back and forth. All right, go back into more yellow and then just bring it up. All right, so once you have these two sections, now you're gonna to wanna to clean your brush because our next color is going to be just yellow and you don't want much orange poking through it. You want as much yellow as we can get. Okay, so once your brush is clean, dry it off. Because again, you don't want it to be too wet or else it's gonna make the paint really runny. So dip into yellow. And the same thing as we did to these two colors, you're gonna get your color and just lightly put it over that previous color and then just brushing it up and then back down. So you want those two colors to blend nicely together. All right, go in with some more yellow. Just bring it up and back down. Make sure when you guys are painting, you're holding the brush flat to your canvas. You don't want like this or else it's gonna move your paint around. You want it flat. And just nice flat brush strokes. I'm gonna go with just a little bit more yellow at the top to really brighten it up. Next, again, you don't need to clean your brush. You're gonna dip straight into white and then brush over the yellow and then brush it back up to blend those two colors 
together. Okay, so you're gonna dip into white and then just brush it over the yellow and bring it all the way to the ends. And you're just gonna do this until you're pretty much happy with the colors that you have. If you want this to be a little bit brighter, then you just stick with less white. If you want it to be more pale, stick with more white. All right, so that's what we have. So right now our canvas is pretty wet. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and let this dry for a good 10 to 15 minutes. You could take that time to, clear, to clean off your water. You can go get a snack, put on some music, anything you wanna do. Um, because once we're gonna, once this is dry, we're gonna be writing the sun and the hello sunshine onto this canvas. So if you start dry, writing on it when it's wet, it's gonna start moving the paint and starts giving little scratch marks. And we don't want that. So you're just gonna go ahead and let this dry for a little bit. And then we're gonna be right back once we are dried and moving on to our next step. All right, you guys, so if you guys are a little impatient like I was, I just got a blow dryer and I put it all around the canvas to dry the paint. If you guys wanna do that, feel free to do it as well. It just speeds up the process a little bit more. Um, I also wrote out what I was gonna be drawing with the Sharpie just, just so you guys can see an idea. You don't have to write this. If you guys wanna put something else, go ahead and do it. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna grab my Sharpie and I'm just gonna trace over these lines. I do suggest doing the pencil first since our background is dry so that whatever mistakes you guys do, you can always erase it. But if you have marker or you're using black paint, it's gonna be a lot harder to take it off. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get my Sharpie and trace what I already have on the canvas. It doesn't have to be exactly what you already traced out. This is just your guys' guidelines. So mine says hello sunshine, so I'm just gonna go ahead and don't mind the not straight line. It's a little hard to do sideways and upside down. All right, so I'm just tracing over what I already drew out. Okay, so there's hello, and then I'm just gonna trace out sunshine. You guys can do any font you want. It doesn't have to be the same font that I have on here. So whatever it, um, inspires you guys. So if you guys wanna do just bold or if you wanna do the same font instead of two different fonts, feel free. Just So for the dot on the eye, I just did a whole bunch of little lines like a sun. And then I just decorated the E a little bit and did a whole bunch of dots and lines. So you guys can really do whatever you want. The sky is the limit and do whatever inspires you guys. And yeah, so thank you guys for joining us. I look forward to seeing you guys next time and make sure you guys let us know how you like it and have a good day, bye.